Today we are going to be talking about something extremely extremely important which is sales ratios and how you can literally get paid for not closing on sales calls and getting negative replies because you can literally get paid for that and I'll show you how to do it in this video. I know my outfit is extremely cool but I'm not going to run the whole video dressed like a roadman. First thing before we get into it, I have done a lot of sales in my life. I have sold door to door, I knocked over 30,000 doors myself, I was leading a team of 15 salespeople. I have run a sales outsourcing agency. I have been the head of sales, head of lead generation. So I have just done a bunch of sales. I have just noticed that knowing your numbers makes the game a thousand times easier. So you're running a B2B lead generation agency and you're getting clients with cold email. Here we have a funnel. In the top of the funnel here you have your starting situation. So pretty much the first activity when you're trying to get clients. So here the end result that we're trying to go for is paying clients. So this is our goal. We want to acquire a client. So the the first thing that we of course need to do is we need to reach out to different leads. So the first step is reach out to lead. Then a percentage of those leads, if we reach out to 10 leads, maybe one will give us a positive reply. So we have positive replies. And part of those positive replies are gonna turn into discovery calls. Then a percentage of those disco calls are gonna turn into demo calls, depending on what sales process you use. And then a part of those demo calls are gonna turn into proposals. Sometimes you don't close immediately. Let's just say that this is what it looks like. Extremely simple. Everyone has seen this or at least understands this. If you're running a lead generation agency, if you're doing cold email. You know what this is. So what really makes this interesting and what we really need to understand here is we need to understand the numbers behind this picture for your specific situation, for your offer, for your legion agency. We need to understand the exact numbers behind this. So pretty much let's say that you know that, okay, if I reach out to 3000 leads and let's say that your reply rate is 5%, that would mean that you would get 150 replies. And then from 150 replies, let's say half of those are positive. That would mean that you would get 75 positive replies. And let's Let's say that on average around half of those positive replies actually turn into discovery calls. That would mean that you would get 37 discovery calls booked from 3000 leads. So let's say that from 37 discovery calls on average you are getting one third of those actually turns into really qualified demo calls. So you only qualify one third and actually book a demo call with them. So that would mean that you would get 12 demo calls from 37 discovery calls. And then let's say that on average from those 12 calls three proposals and just closing and then directly you send four proposals and three actually gets closed. So this is just an example of your situation based on like extremely, extremely average numbers for lead generation agency owners. Like in the past nine months, we have worked with over 170 lead generation agencies and I can pretty comfortably say that these are fairly average numbers. And then of course, we are also going to know that, okay, three customers on average, one customer pays a 5k setup fee and 300 per call. And on average, when you work with a customer for six months, one customer is worth $15,000. So we know three clients is worth 40 $5,000. But the main thing to of course keep in mind is when you are starting out, there's more variables and luck and bad luck and your skills are shit, etc. So it is going to change a lot. But the longer you track your numbers for, so let's say instead of our data being from 3,000 leads, let's say that in total we have reached out to 30,000 leads or 100,000 leads during our agent career. These numbers would be way, way, way more accurate because of course more data you have, the more accurate the data becomes because there's less variables. Like we are able to calculate with these numbers that every single lead we reach out to is worth $15. So we here see that, okay, we reached out to 3,000 leads and we made $45,000. That would mean that every single lead that we reach out to is worth $15. So then when you understand this fact, you won't get as demotivated when you get negative replies, for example. You're motivated. You are able to just focus on, okay, if I want to make $100,000, how many leads do I have to reach out to this month? And this works for every single metric here. So let's say from discovery calls, we know that if we make four $45,000 on average from 37 discovery calls. That would mean that every single discovery call is worth $1.216. So this way, when you actually understand this number and you don't really change that much stuff that you do, like you know that even if you don't close on a discovery call, you know that still having that discovery call was worth 1.2K for you. So let's say you go to a discovery call today and you don't close it, but you know your ratios. You know that every single discovery call on average is worth 1.2K. Even if you don't close it, you can't get demotivated when you know 
know that if I just keep doing this stuff and if I just keep pumping up discovery calls to my calendar, each one of these calls is worth 1.2k. Like the call that I just had, even if I didn't close. Like the prospect tells you, no, nah, we are actually do not want to do this. Okay, that's fine, bro. No worries. And you know in the back of your head that you still pretty much earned 1.2k. And of course, 3,000 leads, it's an extremely small database. So this would make more sense when you have reached out to 50,000 leads. But this way, when you know your numbers, you know that, okay, if I want to make like an extra 120k this year, I just need to focus on contacting XYZ number of more leads. Right now, if you're watching this and you're running an agency, you are a salesperson, you run a lead generation, whatever you're doing in your life. If you are doing sales or prospecting or marketing and you don't know your numbers, open up an Excel sheet or a Google sheet or a fucking notepad or whatever and write these metrics down and start tracking them. And then when you have done it for three, four, five, six months, then go back and look at the data and calculate on average, how many leads do you reach out to every single month? How many positive replies do you get every single month? How many calls do you book from those positive replies every single month? And how many clients you close? And how much money on average is one client paying you? And then when you have enough of data, so after like six months, you can just calculate, okay, every single time when I reach out to a lead, I'm making 10 bucks. Boom, super simple. Then if you wanna make 10K or 20K or 30K, you can just reverse engineer it. Okay, I need to reach out to this many leads. And maybe you make a bit less, maybe you make a bit more. Pretty crazy, right? So when you understand this, your life is gonna be fucking amazing. You don't have to stress about, oh, I didn't call, close this call, or this guy was mean to me on email, or oh my God, this dude fucking ghosted me after the demo call. Like you don't have to stress about that stuff. And now I'm gonna put my glasses on because I have something extremely important to tell you. If you are an aspiring agency owner or someone who wants to build a sustainable long-term business and escape your 9 to 5, what you should do is you should go to agentsofvelocity.io. Because agentsofvelocity.io, what it is, it is our consulting company. And pretty much what we do is we work with people exactly like you. We work with aspiring agency owners and we also work with people who already have professional experience from their background. So maybe you have had a career in sales, marketing, software, whatever. And you're just looking to make some more money and live life on your own terms. Location, time, financial freedom, all that good stuff. Agentsofvelocity.io. Yo, boom. So drop me a like, drop a subscribe, drop me a comment. Let me know what you want to hear and what you want to see on this channel. And I'll make it happen if it's not an extremely dumb idea. Thank you. And I'll see you on the next video.